Recently, a 50-member delegation from FIFA and the 2010 FIFA World Cup Organising Committee travelled 4,000 kilometres around the country to inspect the five newly built stadiums and upgraded Soccer City Stadium. The tour focused on logistical and operational issues. What the city's built is really a legacy stadium that is designed for their purposes afterwards. And we have to go through that stadium and check if it's going to work perfectly for a FIFA event where the, where the requirements are sometimes slightly different. And then where there needs to be changes made, we have to identify what still has to happen um, in terms of building overlay. Overlay is a term that means, um, essentially means temporary structures. So obviously these stadiums are not built with massive stadium media centers, but we need them for the World Cup. So we look at the location of that kind of thing. So what we would typically be doing on a day is going through each of the constituent groups. And as we would get to the stadium, we would, the competitions group, for example, would examine where does the team bus arrive, which gate does it come through, exactly which road does it take, where does the bus park, the players get off the bus, which passage do they use to get to their dressing room, how do they get from there to the field, uh, can we get the stretchers if a player is injured, can the stretcher get through the door, and it's really examining in the minutest detail the operationalization of that stadium and checking that it works for every constituent group at the same time because you could easily say, uh, have the marketing people go out and do an inspection and lay out the stadium in such a way that it works for marketing, but that may impact on, on the other groups. Um, you know, you look at things like uh, the referee after the game, which path does he take to get uh, back to his transport because he may have given a penalty against one of the teams and you wouldn't want him walking through the dressing room area of that team. So we've got to be careful that we get the, uh, the operation absolutely perfect. In addition to uh, taking a look at these stadiums, we also had a separate team that went out to inspect the venue-specific team hotels, the FIFA hotels that we have in each of the respective host cities, as well as the training venues. So we went out with the competitions team to take a look at those facilities. As many of you know, several teams have already come to take a look at some of the facilities and we want to just monitor the progress, much like the stadiums on where we are. The reports that I've received is that we are, are happy with the training venues. Obviously there's more work that needs to be done and you should have more work to be done at this particular time. But we're comfortable with the locations and we'll continue to have inspections of those sites. Test events will be held next year at the new and upgraded stadiums in order to give them a test drive before the major events. The test events are, are test events that the whole cities will put together. Uh, I guess they're negotiating with the local leagues to attract uh, events that are going to happen. Obviously we would love to see some football matches there, but there are also other events that are going to be tested. Once the stadiums are done, it's like any other stadium, we need to make sure that we test all the taps, we test all the, the <coughs> doorknobs, all the access control issues, and that's what we're looking forward to because simply just delivering the stadiums as they are, they need to be fully tested. And most of the whole cities, if not all of the whole cities from memory, are indicating that they hope to have full capacities as part of the test. There'll be smaller events, but they will lead up with a full capacity that will take place. With South Africa's two biggest sports sharing stadiums, there's been speculations that this could leave bumpy pitches for football games. This was a problem over the Confederations Cup after the Lions rugby tour. Yeah, just on the issue of the pitches, I mean, I think it was clear that we learnt a lot in the Confederations Cup. Um, we brought out an expert from an organization called the STRI, Sports Turf Research Institute. Uh, he did an inspection of all 10 stadiums where we went around and discussed with the firstly looking at the construction of the pitch and the, the grass and also discussing with the consultants how to do it. Um, he's given us a very comprehensive report on what he thinks needs to be done going forward so that we don't end up with the same problems. In terms of the scheduling with rugby, we have uh, met with the rugby authorities and um, the plans are in place to stop the rugby matches um, much earlier than we did in the case of the Confederations Cup. I think you'll know that with the Confederations Cup we had the Lions Tour, that was always going to be a challenge. Um, but we, don't, we, won't, we won't have the same situation with the World Cup and we'll stop well before. So we are monitoring the pitches on a, on a regular basis. We have experts who go out regularly and uh, I'm confident that they'll, they'll be top class by the time we get to play.